Hi everyone, welcome back. Styles that every woman over 50 should have, part two. Our clothes have the incredible power to transmit a message of how we want to be perceived as long as we know who we are. As we get older, we want to feel that we are in charge of that. And above all, we want to have fun with our style. But very importantly, we don't want to be dictated by ageism or any restrictions whatsoever. And for me, the pieces I'm going to share today do exactly that. They portray independence, confidence and effortlessness. Looking fabulous doesn't need to be complicated, so let these pieces work hard for us. In my previous video, I included pieces that are a bit more predictable, but still staple enough. And this time around, I've included pieces that have a little bit more flair to them. Therefore, they are way more impactful once you have a great foundation to your wardrobe. So let's dive into them. The first one is no less than a corset. A corset is one of those wow pieces. We're definitely bringing sexy back into our wardrobes. Think less fashion and more flash. Whether they are sexy cutouts, a mini skirt that finally to show off legs that emerged from loungewear or all of the above. And corsets, lots of corsets, reinvented during the autumn winter 2022 and spring summer 2022 shows. It comes with vibrant colors, metallics, and everything in between. Banish any preconcept you have about corsets. Nonetheless to say, it's time to jump into the trend right now. But by the way, this corset I'm showing here, I used to have many seasons ago. So it goes to show that these things, although they are trending at the moment, they can be worn at any time. If you don't want to show a lot of skin, style it under a shirt. It's a very versatile piece. So don't get intimidated by them, because for me, this is one of the pieces that inserts serious styles into one's wardrobe. The next piece I'm going to talk about is Bermudas. I'm a lover, I've always been a lover. Simply because it's way more practical and more comfortable to wear than a skirt. It's a completely different proposal. It balances out a girly top because of the masculinity to it. Of course, there are so many from denning to linen to distressed to more tailored. I think it looks very cool with a blazer or a beautiful top. With a button-down shirt, it becomes very office-friendly. But nothing prevents you from taking it to the weekend and pairing with a fun retro print turtleneck. The next piece is the platforms. Although it's a classic, it's having a massive comeback, which is a good sign. It means that eventually when the trend subsides, it will go back to the category of classic. So you don't need to run and buy the new versions if you already have this, them in your wardrobe. Case in point, I'm wearing something that's six years old here and it's looking as current as ever. What I love about them is that you gain a lot of height without the uncomfort of with the ordinary high heel shoes. They are designed for more comfort. I love hiding them underneath my pants to get more height or I like to show them off. They're really good for counterbalancing the look, the volume, especially at your upper body. They are fun to wear and they have a great function to them. And because they are chunky, they, they have the power to draw the attention to them, which is another bonus for me. What means that I can simplify the overall look. The next item I'm going to talk about is collared pants. When perfectly tailored, collared pants have the best of both worlds. Its sartorialisms offset odd shaped tops and the collar adds interest to the look. So there's always a win-win situation going on. Take a conservative approach and pair with neutrals or go all the way and collar block it. The next piece I'm going to talk about is mini skirt. And I'm going to mention particularly a tweed mini skirt. And as we get older, we start overthinking too much length. Just above the knee if you don't feel as comfortable wearing something shorter. But overall, the perfect length, it's where it's most flattering on you. 
a tweed mini skirt can give you that 1960 vibe when you pair it with boots or a Chanel-ish vibe when you pair it with a jacket and your sling bags extremely sophisticated and timeless but it's still modern depending on how you accessorize it a mini skirt elongates the leg and definitely should have a room in any stylish woman's wardrobe if you're still struggling with the idea of mini skirt try starting it with opaque stockings just for more comfort next is the denning skirt I think every woman who takes their style seriously should consider having a statement denim piece of some sort in their closet. And for me, a denim skirt is one of those pieces. But it doesn't need to be boring. It doesn't need to be the predictable pencil skirt. You can judge it up the shape and wear a like flute one that balances out the figure and provides a cute detail at the bottom. You can find a model that has embellished buttons at the front or any detail that makes it more elevated and interesting. Like any other denim piece, you give that casual feel to your outfit and you can elevate it or make it even more casual. For an autumn feel, you can pair it with a turtleneck and boots, or you can pair it with your favorite meals for spring. Wherever you are, there are endless styling possibilities for a denim skirt. A statement blouse. Including a statement blouse in your repertoire is the right move for so many reasons. Normally they have with noble fabrics like silk, satin or organza, which gives the look a neutral chic feel, but it doesn't need to lead to a ladylike result. You can judge it up by pairing it with distressed jeans, even cargo pants. So cool, yet so chic. Sunglasses. I haven't included sunglasses in any of my videos before and perhaps because there are so many personal aspects to choosing the right frame from the shape of the frame to the color of the frame and everything in between but it's such an important item to be left out but wearing sunglasses is not just the aesthetic aspect to it they are intrinsically necessary to protect your eyes against the damages of the sun rays so i decided to include those just as a quick guide though Glasses have to counterbalance the shape of your face. So for those with a square face, try some round shapes. And as for coloring, follow your foundation guide. So for example, if you are warm, try brown colors. If you have a cool undertone, you can wear silver frames. Let me know if you'd like a more comprehensive guide. Individual differences apart, picking a frame that has a current design to it is simply mandatory. There's only a few heroes that, no matter the season, will always make a welcome addition to any outfit. For me, a black rectangle frame will always be a safe place to start. But I have to confess that I have a spot for a cat eye turtle shell. There you go, these are the pieces that insert serious styles in any woman's wardrobe, actually regardless of their age. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching as usual. Have a great day, a great week, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye everyone.